the amount of nostalgia that I get from this map being in Skater XL is insane. We got the, what's it called? The spillway, the drainage ditch. It's literally a one of one, one, what, what, what? A one to one replica of the entire skate three map. Like this is, this is insane. It literally just keeps going and you can go all the way down here. Oh my God. Dude, there's no way to even explore this whole map in one video. This is where it spawns you in Skate 3 when you first start free roaming. Dude, it, 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 it's like, it's actually tripping me out severely. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video here on Garage Inner Gaming. Thumbs up the video, please. I've been told to promote the thought of thumbs upping the video earlier throughout the video to help the videos perform better. I'm just doing as I'm told, man. No, this is this is actually a trip. We checked this out for the first time on stream like a week ago, and I'm pretty late to making this video. It's too accurate. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't look finished yet. Obviously, all this isn't isn't textured. I'm assuming nothing is splined yet, but it has all the backyard bowls. It has the skate park over here. It has literally everything that Skate 3 has. Oh, that is... I was not expecting that to be splined. What about this? It's not even textured yet, but... It's splined. <laughs> That's bizarre. Old kinky over here. Kickflip front board. Oh! That was terrible, but it worked. Damn, usually when maps are unfinished like this, they do the splining after the texturing. But this is like, skatable. There's physically no way to skate this entire map in one video. So let's just hop around and skate different parts. No, there's the shark. No way. We know what must be done. Can we clear it? Oh, <laughs> I, I, I know it's possible. Pump there. Yes, yes. Okay, that was it. That was the, the speed, the velocity. Buttery nollie heel to get in. Damn, this might actually be <laughs> a bit more of a challenge than I was expecting. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ooh! No way. This is really something that I never thought I'd see. A legit Skate 3 map in Skater Right. This is weird. Can we just take a second, though, to appreciate how perfectly I cleared that without adjusting my stats at all? That could not have been any closer. See, it, it's weird how the, the things you wouldn't expect to be splined are, but then stuff like that isn't yet. This was the first rail that I ever learned how to speed glitch on in Skate 3. Fun fact. I'm just genuinely curious how they got it to look so accurate. You're holding on to that for dear life. Like, is this a, a port from anything? Or did, did someone go through and legitimately make this? Curve ledge. I have duties. We'll start easy. We'll start easy and work our way up to harder tricks. Okay. The good old Tory Pud will. I don't know why I think of Tory whenever I do a kickflip backflip. Come on. Get out of that. Pop out. Counts for taking it. And then back tail. Backside foot. Ah! I just hate when that happens. I'm so predictable when I skate curve rail, I, or curve obstacles. I literally either do back lip, back tail, or back spin every time. I'll take it for now. Oh, if this is splined, please. Damn it. I wanted to grind the whole thing. Still picking up speed here. I don't know where we're gonna go. Victory! The one mod that Skater XL really needs is a force bail. Where'd I go? You know how in Skate 3, like I would always go here, go, and then force bail, and then just splat and do Hall of Meat. I wish Skater XL had a Hall of Meat. <laughs> yeah, that could use some work. Wait, what? I didn't even know this was here. Oh my God, it has the whole super ultra mega park built in. I'm kind of tripping out right now. It is literally a one-to-one -one copy of actual Skate 3. It's not the entire Port Carverton yet, I don't think. I'm not sure if they're planning on adding on to it, but this is by far currently the biggest Skate actual replica 
of a Skate 3 map in Skater XL. I'm tripping right now. Alas, it doesn't have the same satisfying transition physics as Skate 3, but I wanna see, I wanna see how far we can go. <laughs> Not very far. I think we're going a little bit too fast. Oh, that actually worked. What about this one? All right, <laughs> that one we overshot a wee bit. The infamous double bridge gap in Skater XL. It's probably possible. I'm still chipping out on the fact that there is the Super Ultra Mega Park in this because I've been looking for a Super Ultra Mega Park like just that in Skater XL and I haven't been able to find that yet. And now it's like, not only is it here, whoops, okay, one sec. Not only is it here, but it's in the actual Port Carverton city. It's not just the uh, Super Ultra Mega Park, it's everything, you know? If Skater XL could just get transition physics down, it would be game over, dude. Then, then it actually would, you know, be a decent competition between the new skate game, the new EA skate game and Skater XL. But for now, Yeah, it's just not there. I'm literally pushing the buttons to do a coffin. I'm so used to just coffining around the entire map. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm having a little bit too much fun here. I don't think we're going back into the bank. No, we're not. Can you even skate something like this in Skater XL? Will we stay on the ground? No. <laughs> the answer is no. Come on, just a little bit slower. Uh-huh. Okay, it's not working. No. Oh, that would hurt. I keep expecting it to skate like it would in Skate 3, but it's just, I, oh, we made it. We made it. I remember too, climbing up these rocks and trying to make it into the bowl at the bottom. Yes, <laughs> yes, no, my board broke. It's probably possible just because I won't fall. I fell, you know what I mean? Like I'll be able to land it it just won't, I won't go into the transition at all. This is it, we're going in. We're going in. Hold on a sec. We actually kind of made it in. We did take a fair amount of impact there on landing, but it's nothing that we, uh, we can't overcome. Come on, stand up, stand up. There it is. Realism. I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like to finish this map. Cause you're gonna have to go through and spline everything. Like think about that. All of these ledges aren't aren't grindable right now. And in order to make them grindable, the, the map creator is literally gonna have to go through manually on each and every splineable object in this entire city of a map and make them skatable. I guess now would be a good time to work on some manuals, huh? Cause we can't grind anything yet. Be a really cool trick to learn in real life. Well, not that, but just like Nolly 180 switch manny. I tried to kick flip out. There. Eh. Eh. I'm still getting used to my, my new stats menu settings, okay? I got everything to where it looks way better than it used to. I'm just still getting used to the flip speed and like how to make the board do what I want it to. After my last Skater XL video talking about the, the new settings and whatnot, a ton of you guys were asking for my updated stats, my updated stance leg preset things in my Discord. So this morning I put everything in my Discord. I have a link to the Discord down below in the description. It's just in the channel called Skater XL Stats. Very creative, I know. I feel like they're just a good starting point if you want to take them and, and make them your own, but they just, they look way better than they used to. I see these ledges and all I want to do is grind and it's driving me crazy that they're not splined yet. Now, what is going on here, huh? Are these Port Carverton's newest measures of skate stoppers? Just adding fucking razor blades to rails so you just die if you try skating it. I present to you the world's longest firecracker in Skater XL. This is, this is so well done. It's like actually, I know I've said this a couple of times, but it's actually mind blowing seeing where Skater XL started 
in 2018, watching the mod community grow, watching all these third-party add-ons and mods come to Skater XL, and now we're here. That's crazy. You know, when Skater XL first came out, the first and only modded map to ever exist was just like a, it was like a DIY ledge and stairs behind the courthouse at the courthouse ledges. OG OGs will remember. Pre anything Skater XL when the, when the beta first came out on PC, it was just a really shitty, like DIY spot. And that was the first ever modded map. And now we have full Skate 3 cities inside Skater XL. It's funny to me how only the untextured obstacles are the ones that we can skate. Let's try a nose one. Uh, even with my updated stance settings, you still gotta get into the grind good. Otherwise it still looks like that. Like that. That felt way better. Like that is pretty damn close to where my feet would be if I were doing a nose blunt in real life. Yeah, that, that's pretty sick. You know what's missing that would add a ton to this map are NPCs and cars. Like if you had cars that you can get hit by going down this hill like you do in actual Skate 3, that'd be so sick. Or cars you could skitch on. I'm surprised there's not a, uh, a skitching mod yet. Ew. Dude, they have the backyard pools and everything. No, and they're textured the same way. Oh my God. Oh, it's grindable. We're transition skaters in Skater XL. Front side flip, gross. I'm still waiting for the day that any other skateboarding game can get transition skating down as good as Skate 3 does. But in the meantime, this is actually skating surprisingly well. Okay, moving on. A tube? Where does the tube? Aw. Oh, I thought the tube went somewhere. This just reminds me of the death races from Skate 3. Dude, this, this makes me so excited for the uh, the future of this map. I forget what's at the end here. Oh, that's not even the end. We're still going. And... Realism. I'm determined to try something. It's pretty much cheating here on PC because you can do anything you want. But you guys are probably all well familiar with the uh, the double bridge gap, the infamous double bridge gap in Skate 3. I've never done it myself, obviously. I don't really play Skate 3 as much as I used to. But we're making history today. I don't know if anyone's done it in, in Skater XL yet because the map is so new, but we're trying it in Skater XL. First, we'll just give it a run through and see how close we get with my, my normal stats menu settings. I know what to do. Oh, <laughs> I went the wrong way on the gravity. Whoops. Let's go. Let's try something like that. Oh, yes. Feels like we're playing Vanilla Skater XL. Huh? Uh? Okay, okay, maybe a little bit less. Oh yes, how PC players think Vanilla Skater XL looks like. Oh God, we've been decapitated. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is it. Our final step, minimum gravity. Is it cheating? 100%. Are we still going to be proud of ourselves when we land it? 100%. Mm -hmm. Damn it. The lower the gravity, the uh, slower you go, because you know physics and all that. It's hard to find the right speed that compensates for the gravity. Damn it. What if we can't do it? Push force. Up. Top speed. Up. We're clearing this gap one way or another. This has to be it. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. Please. No. Ah. Oh, I don't know what other settings I can adjust. <laughs> what if we can't do it? I'm gonna be so sad. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We're going all the way. 100% we just cleared it. Please land it. Please don't break on impact. We've done it. 
We've done the unthinkable. You guys want to talk about realism? I'll show you realism. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, hey, that's a land though. That that counts. Dude, th this legitimately got me so excited just for the future of, of modded Skater XL. The combination of this map, having my stats menu settings finally feel good again. It's like it's feeling like the game it used to feel in late 2018, early 2019. I'm loving it. It's, it's getting me stoked to make content again, um, which is obviously important. Let me know if you guys want a part two on this. I feel like we, we really didn't even realistically scratch the surface on this map. It could be cool to go through and like actually, ooh, actually try to skate the entire map, you know? I can't wait for this map to be splined. I'm very excited. Oh, that drops down. Okay. Nolly tray. Okay. I think we're done now. Uh, later guys. Peace out.